You can't be too careful when it comes to electricity. You sure that's off? Oh man. Uh oh. There's a house on fire. Oh, something just exploded. We are celebrating my grandma's 100th birthday. Off? Problem is, it's not off. <laughs> so we are putting the uh, new capacitor, which is what this is, into the AC unit, and hoping that that's what is going to fix the problem. Um, I was taking, as you just saw, I was taking this off. I wanted to discharge the capacitor, and uh, I didn't turn the breaker switch off first. I turned the switch off of the system, but not the breaker switch. So my going to go turn off the breaker switch so I don't have power coming through, so I don't weld this to that anymore <laughs> you can't be too careful when it comes to electricity which is why i was discharging it but you got to turn off the power first so good thing i got laying here to be like uh wait hopefully this also fixed the unit because this one is not working hasn't worked for a couple weeks now we'll see if this does the trick now that we have the new capacitor in which is what this is right here we hopefully will have an ac unit that works again if not we'll have to get a professional out here to come out here and fix it because this is the one thing that I know and I'm confident that uh, I can do because I've done it before. And I think the last time I did it, I forgot to turn off the uh, breaker switch too. Should be the first thing to remember, right? That, that one could have cost me a little bit of a jolt, <laughs> a big jolt. Okay, so he's, Lane is now turning on the breaker switches and then he's gonna go upstairs and turn on the AC unit. And this is the part where we see if the fan turns on, and the compressor turns on, we're back in business with the AC unit. If it just buzzes, we're still in trouble. Oh, I think he already turned on the system. It's not working. Okay, while we're troubleshooting this, we got thinking, when I hit that power wire, it shorted out. And I'm thinking I blew a breaker somewhere. So we checked the breakers and the breakers are good. So now I'm thinking I blew a fuse. Now I'm just looking for where the unit is. We can go into the unit and check fuses. Guess what I just found? Look inside there. Ah, tripped. So flip that, and let's see what happens. There we go. Okay, now, I think, I think we're gonna work now. I think it's gonna turn on, because we have the new capacitor, we've got the breaker flipped back on. <laughs> it's gonna happen now, I'm telling you. We're gonna have AC, it's gonna happen. That's it, it's working, we're back in business. Now, that would have been a lot easier if I would have done the right thing the first time, which is turn off the breaker, because I, I kicked the other breaker, spent another 20 minutes trying to figure out what's going on. It's working now. By the way, um, I've changed these out before, I said that already, and the reason why I change them out myself is because number one, it's, it takes a couple days for typically for a, a contractor to come out and check things out. Number two, that cost me $17 to change that out. It would cost probably 250 bucks, probably, to have a contractor come out and look at it and do the same thing I just did. But he would be smarter to probably turn the breaker off first. Although I will say the last guy that worked on our AC didn't turn the breaker off first and had the same thing. So I should have remembered that. We had a casualty yesterday with the thermostat. Aspen and Bailey got a hold of us and was like, uh, this thing fell off the wall and it busted, so we had to get a new one for this. And this one can go through the Wi-Fi and I can run it from remotely from my house, which is good. Hey, we're on, we're going. This is good. The pantry is finally finished. It's so awesome. I love the way it turned out. I love the space. It'll be great once we have the countertop installed. We just gotta figure that part out. But it feels like there's way more space in here now than we had it before. So that is a plus. I mean, obviously we're able to use all of this room and all of this room. And then we had the shelves in here and so, yeah, I, 
just love the way that it turned out. And Yawiko is back to being clean again. There are still lots of things in here that don't belong in here because they belong in cupboards. That's weird. But what's weird? That it's clean? I know it, it was. It's weird. <laughs> there, it's so much room. So much room. I know it was so messy before, huh? Because we had all so of the pantry stuff in here. Did you see the pantry? Mm -hmm. All finished? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. <sighs> Starting to come together. As soon as we have the poles on the cabinets, we can put all of these things away and it can be even more organized than it is right now. But right now it's clean again we can walk in here without any problems uh, I love finishing projects it's kind of hard to put a centerpiece on this table because it's this table, but so Danielle and I picked this out the other day, and I really like it. I don't love it on this table, but the good news is our friend was here yesterday, and he said he's gonna make me a table. He is gonna. He's an awesome wood crafter. Oh man. Uh oh. There's a house on fire. Go tell dad, hurry. Oh my. Yeah. Insane. What house is on fire? I know. Oh no. What house oh no. Oh no. Let's go for red. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm gonna have to kick the box out. Oh man. Somebody's losing their house right now. Bad. That's horrible. <laughs> is she asleep? Oh, something just exploded. There's stuff blowing up back there. No, I think it's just going to where it usually goes. Hearing more explosions back there. Hear that? Sounds like gunshots. And that's why the black smoke is barreling up. Oh, there's another one exploding. I wonder what's exploding over there. Spas take a lot of chemicals to keep them clean. And there's a lot of chemicals stored back there, I'm sure. Hopefully, not too much nastiness is going into the air right now. I'm sure it is, though. The wind started blowing. That does not help at all. They've got one on this side, one on the back side, and one on the front side, putting the fire out. So it's looking like they might be getting it, keeping it from going to other buildings. More fire trucks on the way right now. I made this for Mara for her birthday and I messed up on it. I messed up on it. Let's see, it's supposed to say the date that I um, drew his hand, but instead of 7923. I put 9923, but if I would have taken out the first nine, it would have had holes. So I just left it. So I think it turned out great though. I really like it. So those flowers that I planted are the ones that the kids got me in the parade. I was worried that I wouldn't have any place to put them. They'd just die. I mean, they might still die, but at least they're planted. And hopefully they'll grow and be beautiful. It's time to say goodbye to this poor, sad little avocado. I tried to keep him alive, but it just doesn't work. So we're gonna get rid of this dirt, put new dirt, and plant that guy. Panorama time, huh? So since you couldn't get the deep fryer, the freeze dryer to work, <laughs> you're gonna deep fry. Oh, great! Oh, great one banana! Deep fry all the bananas! Oh, the great one bananas! No, mm. you can put them on the dehydrator. 
On the dehydrator? Yeah. That's a good idea. All right, we'll check these in about eight hours and see how they're doing. What is this called? Uh, it's the Swedish meringue cake. Swedish meringue but cake. But I looked it up and they also call it Pinocchio cake and I don't know why. Uh, That's amazing. Oh. So tonight we are at my dad's house and we are celebrating my grandma's 100th birthday. If my grandma was still alive, she would have been 100 years old. Tomorrow. So we came over and had dinner and we're having cake and we went through and looked at pictures and my dad told us stories about her and just family history, yo. Family history. That's why we vlog is so that we can look back and see the stories of our family instead of looking at pictures and someone telling the stories, which is just as awesome. I don't know if you can see all of that's burned back here. The whole building all the way through is burned. Daddy. They did a good job. They put it out. It's a that's pretty amazing. To not have it burn those buildings right there, that's pretty amazing. We just had to come down and see the spot that was on fire today and they did a really good job putting it out. It didn't spread to the other buildings, which it looked like it did. And I don't think anybody got hurt. We didn't hear of anybody getting hurt, so nice work, guys. Good job, because it was way hot today. Mm. And there are, as you can see, there's a lot of buildings that are really close and around here. Could have been really ugly. Nice work, firefighters. Mm -hmm. I have not made sourdough in ages, so it's just, I mean, I did all the other things today. I might as well make sourdough, right? It works well with all the cleaning and the organizing. I'm almost like a real homemaker today. I haven't been that for a while. Well, I was hoping that by the time we went to bed tonight, these would be done and ready. As you can see, they're not totally ready yet. Hopefully by morning, they'll be ready. Uh, isn't it interesting that when we see something like with what we just saw with the fire, that there's a lot of thought process thought there's lots of processing that happens with it they kind of and, and you're probably going through it right now you're like you just there's a little bit of fear that that like sets in and it's like okay what if that was our house and what if this happened and what if that happened and what if what if there's lots of what ifs and you know some people have had uh, uh, fires in their house and lost everything and there's just a lot of again processing that happens it's like what if what if and then you start thinking about all the different things that you need to be more careful with and and more cautious and then uh, more preventative with, you know, and I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna be going to sleep tonight thinking about it just because I think that's just the way it works. I'm glad everyone was safe over there. It was very interesting to kind of see it from a different angle and think that something else was happening. I thought for sure those other buildings were caught, but they didn't. They just had a lot of smoke flowing that way from the wind. Anyway really unfortunate to see those kinds of things happening but also encouraging to see that they got it out so quickly and anyway so just be cautious I guess and I don't know I don't really have any real thought on that at all just other than there was one piece of article that said uh, that I just read that uh, a gal came and brought waters to the to the to the people that worked there the people that had to go out and evacuate the building and the workers and the, the emergency response team they brought waters to them i never even thought about that what a cool thing so in, in all that was happening over there somebody decided to go get a couple of cases of water and take them to these people because it was hot outside 111 degrees today that's thinking that person was thinking so i'm going to strive to think more like that person Instead of, hey, I just want to see this fire. I want to see what's happening. How about, hey, how can I help without getting in the way? That's a better thought process. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it. <laughs>